Sullivan Bard here, or you can call me Sully, my dear. Well, it's time to look at more of Seuss's works, and one that has some unique quirks. It's one of the few specials that Seuss has written that is quite original, but doesn't fit like a mitten. It's odd, yet good, but that isn't much to say, as I take a look at Dr. Seuss's The Hoover Blue Highway. Way up in space, on an island with stature, lives a man named Mr. Hooberbloob, the dispatcher. And with his living guitar with no name to say, send babies down to Earth on the Hooberbloob Highway. But before Mr. Hooberbloob sends the young ones down, he shows what life will be like in a little town. As one baby, who is a fortunate fella, is shown his future in the town of West Wachicatella. The baby named Bub sees his life as a young boy, filled with all the stress and all of the joy. Learning, relaxing, and making a career, doing chores and answering questions, all while Hoover Blue wonders without fear. Is this a good place for the young lad, or just cancel the trip, whatever makes the babe glad? For what it is, it's nothing good or bad, it's just okay. That's all I can add. But for what the special has in store, it's not quite as original as I implore. While it's the first special not based on a book, some of the elements in it aren't the biggest hook. But there's stuff from other Seuss books that are a big squeeze, coincidence as the same man already created these. There's the animals from If I Ran the Zoo in One Song, and the Tweedlebutles from Fox and Socks, so what could be wrong? There's the town of Gazare from Did I Ever Tell You How Lucky You Are, and Hooper Bloob looks like the doorman from Salasalu, likely on par. These bits seem rather unfitting when placed in one show, and I don't see how it works for you to know. But as jumbled and cluttered as this stuff becomes, all the other things are passable, and they're the decent ones. Hooberbloob's helper is a guitar with no name, who likes to make music, yet Hooberbloob won't allow his game. Not that he hates it, he's just like a busy dad, even to having it leave, which is kind of sad. And as a kid, I like the guitar that's alive, even thinking his name is Please, for how it jives. And Hooberbloob is alright for most of the time, but some of his dialogue doesn't tend to rhyme. He does make rhymes for sure, even in song, but he doesn't do it for that long. And the other specials have characters rhyming throughout, but this is a rare exception, there is no doubt. The songs are alright, though maybe too many, not too memorable, but they're fine and plenty. But here's an interesting part, and it's not that dumb. It plays with the myth of where babies come from. The store carrying a baby is a classic one, yes, but to come from space is totally not a mess. Some may say the child would be an alien at best, but this is from Dr. Seuss, and that idea can rest. Showing the kid's future is a neat one, I say, doing everything in life and making his day. And living with his dog, who came with the baby somehow, Bub's life goes all over the place, and not once goes down. Some bits do make me smile at Bub's life, though they're not sharp as a knife. Using a hairbrush on his shoes, and all of the ology books, the facts of history, math, and science, and trying to milk a walrus with uncaring looks. And there are other oddities that happen with this boy and his pup, like a chair that takes him to school, and is this sink really backed up? Yes, it's all over the place, and it's nice to see, but it's not as engaging as the other ones used to be. I like all that I see and the ideas it brings along, but mixing the suits works just kind of feels wrong. And though the songs are okay, but there's too many and they're not too memorable, I still have some interest in it, even if it's not all on the table. And the voice cast did a nice job, but there isn't too much, so it's not a huge mob. Bob Hope voices Mr. Hooberbloob and the Snail Race announcer, Hal Smith voices the narrator, and Mel Blank voices Bub. And that's all I can answer. So as a whole, this special is okay. The characters are fine, and the story is alright, that I can say. The animation is quite fine, and the songs are alright. Director Alan Zelove had made a special that has some light. It is original in some way or another, but sometimes it isn't so. I should utter. Using characters and places from other Seuss books don't carry in so much, and this would need different looks. Yet from what it is, it's mostly fine. It's nothing too good or bad, but it doesn't quite shine. I appreciate what it does and all it can offer, but it's not that strong, even from the same author. I did, as a kid, watch it a few times, yet it's not the best and only has a few good signs. So overall, it's a nice little effort and change, but it's nothing too important and also rather strange. 
So today, if I may, this review gets the rating of two and a half plus stars. That's my display. So thank you for joining me here. Like, comment, subscribe. Eh, somewhere down there. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter for more, and support me on Patreon for what's in store. And tune in next time for a whole new show, and uh, that's it. I gotta go. Thank you.